the pygmy hippo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? Hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of an animal that was swimming in the pond. I think it's a hippo. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. It sure does look like a hippo. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay right here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a female pygmy hippo. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to bring her back to her home. That's great, Leo. But be careful. Though the pygmy hippo isn't as aggressive as its larger cousin, the common hippo, the pygmy hippo has big teeth called tusks. Normally, the pygmy hippo is a shy creature. But if you enter its home, it might use those big teeth to defend itself. We'll make sure we remember that, Ranger Rocky. Unfortunately, pygmy hippos are endangered, which means they might disappear forever. One of the reasons is the disappearing of their homes, the forests. Another reason is they are hunted by humans for their meat. Oh no! That's so sad! So, where can we find its home? The pygmy hippo likes to live in swamps. A swamp is a forest where the ground is mostly covered with water. A swamp is usually found along large rivers or near lakes. The pygmy hippo is a semi-aquatic animal. That means it lives on both land and in water. It's also a nocturnal animal. So they sleep during the day, and during the night they will look for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. 
Here is a spot with trees, and on this side are trees with a lot of water. It must be a swamp. Do you know where we should go? Over there are trees, and over there is a swamp. So where should we go? There. That's right. We need to go to a swamp because the pygmy hippo likes to live on both land and in water. Let's go. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys. Let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm. What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please, please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. Okay, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. Yay! Yay! What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Remember, pygmy hippos usually prefer to live alone. So, if you want to find a home for the pygmy hippo, just look for an empty spot in a swamp, not for a gas pump or a camel's hump. But look for an empty spot in a swamp. I see. So not for a gas pump or a camel's hump, but look for an empty spot in the swamp. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find a home for the pygmy hippo, you have to look for an empty spot in the swamp. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty swamp. Is that an empty swamp? No, it's not. Those are crocodiles. So let's look somewhere else. What are those? They are also pygmy hippos. Maybe it's a mother and her baby. I think they prefer to be left alone. So let's continue. So is this an empty swamp? Yes, it is an empty swamp. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! Yay! pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 